Um, it's Johnny Vlogger live from Prostradecki, Tenerife. Last night in Tenerife. Last dinner. Not my last beer, but one of my last beer at 10 o'clock at night. Thank you. So we're live. There's that guy again, Benjamin. <laughs> right, so I ordered my meal. I was going to get a free course meal, but they wouldn't let me have spaghetti carbonara included in the, um, the 9.95 deal, which is a bit mean. You thought they would have given me it on the house, considering I've been here a lot every day. Um, but never mind, that's what some people are like. They can't see the, um, the good side of uh, customer service. So I've just opted for um, just a set meal and that's it, and a beer. I'm not getting nothing else. So they've lost out probably on um, a couple of euros. Two, three euros. If they'd have been nicer to me, they would have got an extra three euros and a tip. But that's what people, if they want to be funny, I'll be funny, you know what I mean? Right, so what have I ordered then? I've ordered spaghetti carbonara today. I'm not that hungry tonight. I've been eating in the daytime. I've had lots of beers again. Been walking around Fanaby all day. So, uh, this is the meal. It's on one of those flying saucer plates. It's carbonara, there it is, look, carbonara. It looks very tiny, doesn't it? But it's it's all in that bit there. It's all in there. It's all in the bottom bit of the plate. So there you go. I've got me one euro beer again, yes, three, one euro beer, one euro beer, one euro beer. San Miguel, San Miguel, yes. Good old San Miguel. Hello, hello, get up with Nick. Get up for Nick. Any garlic bread with that? No. To be honest, I'm not that hungry. I, I had a, I had chips at lunch time with a beer. Then I went somewhere else and had a cheeseburger and chips. I've had a few snacks. I don't really, I'm not that hungry today. But I think it's the hot weather, the heat, it puts you off eating. So I'm not that hungry. There is, um, there is some, uh, there's a singer at a bar nearby. I'm, I'm probably gonna go, go there after. It's on to about midnight. So we'll probably watch that. See ya. Oh, he's gone. Richard Monsell. I'm not at Bora Bora, no, I'm not there. I'm next door to a Bora Bora, there you go. <coughs> I've had a lot of Chinese meals on this holiday. I, di I didn't fancy a Chinese tonight. Fed up with Chinese now. So a bit of pasta. Mmm. It's my last night, Claire, yep. Yeah. Hence the title says last night in Tenerife. Uh, no garlic bread with it, no. Just a beer, just a beer.
So I'm probably one of the last customers in here getting a meal. Everyone else has had their dinner. They'll be, they'll be kicking me out the door soon. Where are we? But I can't read the comments. Hang on, I have to put my glasses on, sorry. Can't read the comments, my eyes are terrible. Too many beers. Just noticed that. What what have you noticed? Oh, the title. Where are we? Well there you go, have a guess. Guess where I am, there you go. <clears throat> hello, hello David, butler, hello. Looked like a good night out with Tim on Monday. Yeah, it was. It was a good night out. It was nice to see um, Denise and Steve and um, Scott and... Was it Lucy? I can't remember her name now. All from the north, the Pearson family. Yeah. And Christine and Tim. Yeah. And uh, Webby. Good old Webby. Hello, Em. Hello, Pauline. Get up for Nick. Hello, mate. So, can you guess where I am? I gave, a, I gave a clue away the minute ago. Let's see if you can work out where I am. Come on. You're having a bird moret. Evening, Johnny Vlogger. Hello, Pete and Shell. How are you doing? Hello, JJ. Last night for me, sadly. That's it, yeah. This time tomorrow, I'll be... Uh, Flying over France probably, nearly nearly at Gatwick Airport this time tomorrow. Half hour. Going, going over going over the English Channel. Hopefully we'll have a bit of tailwind behind me and get home earlier. Richard Monsol, where are you from? You sound like a new viewer. I haven't seen you on here before. Welcome to the the live stream. Thank you for joining. So this is very nice. Very good. Very nice. I'll show you the I'll show you the meal. There you go. It looks small, but the plate's very deep. So. You get quite a lot in there. It's not too bad. <laughs> How can we guess by the ceiling? <laughs> yeah, look, this, this bit is a clue on the side. Look, do you recognise that bit? <laughs> One euro beer. There's another clue. <laughs> it's not Bora Bora, no. You're close. You're getting very warm, JJ. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in the slow boat, no. <laughs> the slow boat. Mile Soul, yes, that's it, JJ. Well done, Mile Soul. <laughs> I'm eating in a Korean restaurant, yeah. <laughs> I just realised I haven't put the cheese on my um, carbonara marzipan. You were in there the other night, I think. I was indeed, well spotted. I think I've been here about four or five times on this holiday, drinking beers. 
I think I had a three course meal here the other day. Yeah. Today it's just a single, a set meal. Can't get the comments up now. Best wishes to Anne. Hope you feel better soon. What What's wrong with um, Anne? You're not well today. <coughs> Did you have too much to drink yesterday? <laughs> that was funny in the Chicago Zoo, Anne. That was a good laugh. I like your dancing. Well done. <laughs> it was good meeting the two David Butlers as well. <laughs> and Julie. It was very good in there last night, yeah, it was very good, watching Shelley and um, Hayley, Shelley and Hayley singing in the Chicago's, they do well don't they as a duet, and uh, Rick was there. I don't want. I don't want to. I don't want to go home. Don't want to go home. But got to. Got to. Um, got to go home at some point, didn't you? Nothing to do with drink. Okay, am. Fair enough. I hope you get well soon. Then get well soon, Anne. Lovely lady. Lovely couple, Anne and David. Caught a bug. Oh dear. That's, uh, well, I hope the bug goes away. I, th I think I I got ill once coming to Tenerife. I ate something and uh, wasn't well. And then I had a another time I come here, I had a cough. So, from drinking some of the. Um, I think it's drinking some of the cheap one euro beers, um, some of the Doradas and Amstels. I won't agree, don't agree with me. So I, I like to stick to Sa, uh, San Miguel one euro. I um. Show us your dinner, Johnny. There you are. That's it. That is all I'm eating, guys. I'm not that hungry this evening. I'm... The heat, the heat has made me not hungry. Last night I went to the Chinese buffet again, the Hong Kong. I went there for my second visit and had a load of Chinese last night, but tonight I didn't fancy a Chinese. I just wanted something like a pasta meal. So, something a bit healthier. One euro beers are, are rank. That's why they are. No, they're not rank, JJ. You got it wrong, mate. The San Miguel ones are very good. It's the proper stuff. It's not watered down. It's proper stuff. And I know, I know why they're one euro. Because, apparently, they sign a contract with the breweries and they have to sell so much a month they're committed they have to sell so many a month the only way they can sell loads and loads is to have the price really low if they don't meet the targets they have to pay penalties they have to pay penalties to the brewery because they sign a contract for so many months could be a year or two years and they have to they have to um, They've got to sell them to avoid penalty charges. So the only way, the only way, is because they're committed to the sales. They're not rank at all. I mean, some some of the one euro beers are a bit rubbish. I had a I had a one euro beer in an Aberdeen steakhouse yesterday. It was a tropical beer. 
over by um, Las Americas near the, the Vista Sur and that was horrible, that was really horrible. So that one we can say yes, that one was rank. But the ones that are selling San Miguel, they're very good, very good. And the Doradas, the Doradas are okay as well. But I notice all the one euro bars seem to just sell San Miguel. So, or the 150 ones, a lot of the 150 ones are San Miguel as well. It must be on special offer at the moment, special offer. Very good, very nice. David would tend to believe Webby. Nah. I mean, I, I like drinking beer. I know which beers are good and rubbish. Show us you are great in. Show fresh marzipan. On your carbon banana pasta, mate. I'm not great in it. I'm just... It's got teaspoonfuls, look. <laughs> there you go, look, it's, it's in there. <laughs> you just get a teaspoon and sprinkle it on like that. There we go, a bit of that. Whey. <coughs> no greater ear, that's extra. If you get the shits when you go home from the beer, don't come running to us. <laughs> I think Webby likes drinking Heineken, doesn't he? Heineken's a good beer. Obviously that's um, dearer. Well, it is out here anyway. Um, in Benidorm, and get it for 150. So, prices obviously vary from one region to another, don't they? I mean, 150 for a Heineken in, when I went to Benidorm, we have that all day long. San Miguel, one euro, it's even better, you know what I mean? Can't go wrong. Some people are having a party over there. Seafront beach party. Just see if I can flip the camera. Quite difficult to um, flip the camera on this mobile. I don't know why. Keep saying, "Do I want to stop streaming?" No. Right here we go. I don't know if you can see. There's some people over there. Look, they're all dancing. There we go. They got their little uh, base box, their little uh, benches to sit on. I think I'm a one euro a one euro beer expert. I've been here Tenerife so many times now. I know I know the good and bad one euro beers. And my my friend Pete Pete of Pete and Shelly, he's very good at um, tasting beers as well. I'm sure I'm sure Pete would have, Pete and Shell's Pete would agree with me. But the San Miguel is better than the Tropical and the Dorada. I would imagine Webby would agree as well, but he's not here, so... Maybe another time. Another time where, I'll, when I come out here again, I'll get him to come in and we'll both have a... We'll both have a one euro beer and we, we'll have a... We'll see what we both think. There you go. Maybe um, Pete and Shell might be here as well. They might be able to um, taste it as well. See what they think. Give it a review. 
Yes, these are the two arm glasses. Miraculously, the latest breaking news is I found the screw that was missing on Monday. The screw that fell out on one of the arms. It was under my pillow on my bed. How amazing was that? Of all the places you go, all the places you put the glasses down, it could have fell out on a table, it could have fell on the ground, it could have fell in a bin, and it was on my bed. So I've, read, I've managed to repair them. So they're still going, these glasses. They're, they're good little glasses, these ones, from uh, Benny Dorn for five euros. And I did buy another pair when I went there the other week, so I've got a backup pair. <laughs> Pete's travelled all over the world for years. Webby's lives in Tenerife can't base all options on one island. Sorry. Uh, and David, did you enjoy your meal? I was watching Coles live earlier. That Fu Ling buffet meal was good food and great value. How much? How much was it for a meal then at the uh, Fu Lin? How much? Maybe I'll go there another time. I, um, like I say, I had a Chinese last night. I didn't feel like a Chinese tonight. Otherwise, I would have come along. I don't, can't stand eating Chinese every day. It gets too much. Uh, I think I've had about three Chinese's already on this holiday. Thirteen fifty. That's not bad, then, is it? Thirteen fifty. Eat as much as you like, and then obviously drinks are extra. I suppose that's the normal uh, scenario, isn't it? Not just beer, but food reviews as well. Lots of experience, and Shell is a trained chef. So we know our stuff. Okay, Pete and Shell. I believe you. <laughs> Including tax, as much as you can eat. They didn't add the tax on, that's good then. Yeah, I think the ones I go to, they add the tax. The um, Hong Kong hot buffet, they add tax on the meal. JJ, it was good, but as I didn't have an appetite, I didn't eat much, but great value. And says, <coughs> what time is my flight? It's um, seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Tomorrow night. So, I've got to check out at 12, out of my apartment. Then I've got to lag my bag around for four hours, which is a bit of a pain. So I'll, I don't know, I might ask if I can leave my bag at the apartment a bit longer, because the bus stop to the airport's only up the road, so I'm just going to stay local tomorrow. I don't know why, but Los Cristianos seems quite a long way from where I'm staying. It's a good hour's walk. A good hour's walk. I tried it the other day and it took an hour. From the Passarella to where I'm staying, it took one hour exactly. And that was walking on the top road, not along the front promenade, which would probably take longer. Uh, and then last night I got a cab home. I, I couldn't be bothered. Not not walking along that dual carriageway at one in the morning, stuff that. And there is um, some very lonely paths at the end of the um, dual carriageway near the um, near the uh, what's it called Santiago.
part six. There's a big shopping uh, supermarket there. So hit the like button, Pauline says. Thank you. We got 16 likes, 41 in the room. Thank you. That's good. Good, 41 people. That's very good. Thank you. Much appreciated. There's people watching the background. Come and say hi. Right, I need to get on and eat this dinner. Jesus, I am literally the last one in here. Wow, everyone's gone. Look, I'm the last one in here, look. There's no one in here. Everyone's gone. I, I was right, I knew I'd be the last one in here. Wow. Because <laughs> I'm chatting too much, I'm slow, and I? I've been live 26 minutes, I haven't even finished this dinner yet. Amazing what Colin is doing for Saf tonight. Well, I didn't. I didn't watch the live stream. I was having a nap, so I hope it was a good live. I'll probably watch it on playback when I've got some spare time. Probably tomorrow, maybe, or later on before I go to bed. I might watch it. Put your finger under your beer glass and it's hot, your beer is off. Well, it was a... F no, it's still cold, it's still cold, Ian. It's not off yet. I haven't drunk much, so have I, look, I've only drunk a little bit. That hot dog keeps shrinking. What hot dog's that then, David? What have I missed? Did you have a hot dog at the um, buffet? So this meal is very nice. I made, I think I made the right choice. I'd rather have carbonara than spaghetti bolognese. I don't like. Um, I had one the other day at the Aberdeen Steakhouse, and um, there was too much um, beef in it. I didn't like it. I think I left half of the beef in the bolognese out. I just uh, bugger this. Colin is a wonderful dad to staff. That's very good then. Very good. Well done, Colin, if you're watching. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Being a good parent, father. Your kids always grow up fast, don't they? So you've got to... Um, spend a lot of time with them really that's what it's all about spending time with your kids before they're adults doesn't take long they shoot up in no time um, I know that from um, my two eldest daughters um, Kirsty and Chloe
I probably did lose a lot of time with my kids though when they were younger because I had to I was working all the time and um, I didn't see them as much as I could now the you know the position I'm in now I'd be able to see them all the time but obviously I had to work when they were younger and uh, I didn't get in probably till some nights eight o'clock at night and they were going to bed or they was already in bed so I didn't see them or I'd see them in the morning might come home early some days tea time or otherwise it was weekends I saw them um, Colin booked a restaurant that Saf always wanted to go to that's nice that's a nice treat then Tim and I shared a very long hot dog in a gourmet burger place in Kaleo Selvaki. Oh. Who ate, who ate the most then? And you or Tim? <laughs> who munched it? Who munched it quickest? <laughs> Same with Pete, with ours. You were out providing though. Susan, hello. How are you doing, Susan? Johnny, don't you find Tenerife accommodation expensive? Uh, sometimes, yes. I, I think I paid too much for my room. Uh, I should have gone somewhere else, really. I should have looked more. Um, I won't be paying what I paid again um, I paid nearly 400 pounds for my uh, apartment for one person I think that's quite a lot of money myself um, I think 300 would have been nice 350 maybe But it was probably because it was um, Paddy's Day and the carnival that's pushed the prices up. I would imagine you could probably book the same room in two or three weeks' time for less. Because um, I've noticed already in Tenerife it's not as busy. It's already got quiet already. There's nowhere near as many people in Tenerife now as what there was the other day. It's completely drops the amount of people I've noticed there's still a lot of people here don't get me wrong but definitely less a lot of people have gone home you can tell they've gone home probably Monday oh, bless me oh dear saying that we both had to work a lot when ours were younger Shell says Lily, hello Lily. Have you bumped into any other YouTubers yet? I bumped, well, I bumped into um, uh, Rick and Shell. I bumped into Kevin, Scotsman, Keith, All Things Tenerife, Tim, Tim and Christine, um, Tenerife, Tez, Terry. Um, who have I forgot? Cole's Place. Um, Kevin Scotsman in Tenerife. I think I've covered everyone, haven't I? And then a few other people, a few other people that aren't YouTubers. I saw Laura last night. I bumped into Laura, um, Andrew's partner, the Night Strider. I said hello to Laura. She was coming out of um, Buddies. I said hello. I think she was trying to avoid me, but she was coming towards me on the pavement and I was walking towards her, so I clocked her straight away and I said, hello, all right, and she went, all right. <laughs> Watch out next week, you're on the video, who knows where? Hello, who knows where, how are you doing? Am I out next week, am I? <laughs> All right, I'll look out for it then. I'll look out for it. Yeah. 
Well, Graham, that's a lot. Angry Velo, hello. Uh, sorry, who's Graham? Is that Angry Velo? I wanted to come last week for two weeks, travelling on my own. It was going to be around 2,300. Oh, my God. Oh, I wouldn't pay that uh, Angry Velo, no way. I wouldn't even pay a thousand, let alone two thousand three hundred. Not even five hundred. No. You can get a place. You can get a place for uh, three fifty four hundred if you look around. Some people say no, you can't, but you can. I I found a place, so it was just under four hundred. But I'm pretty sure I could. I could have got a cheaper place if I looked harder. The problem is, the problem is, you see the prices one day and you see the prices a week later or even a day later and they can just suddenly change whether it's the airfares or the rooms, people cancel, you could suddenly see a cancellation come up, a super duper deal. And if you log on at that right moment, you can really grab yourself a bargain. It's all about luck and perseverance, lots of searching. It might be boring and depressing, keep looking and looking and looking, but if you find a good deal at the end of it, then you'll say to yourself, yes, I'm happy. I never, I never search and book somewhere within five, ten minutes. No way. I will spend a day or even a week, even two weeks looking until I'm satisfied with the cheapest price that I can find. I had, what's that? You had two weeks booked in my own apartment, but my son want one of those weeks we got a bargain in Madeira Shell says well done Shell and Pete then Carbonara yes it is Carbonara Susan well done it's not a spag bowl I'm struggling to eat this because, like I said, I'm not that hungry, but I'm determined to eat it all. Even if I have to take the meal home in a in a uh, plastic container, I'm still going to eat it. You have to check the deals, Graham, Anne-Marie says. Literally booked hours before we went. We got a bar... Oh, I read that one. Hopefully Colin will be living in Tenerife in two years, with Saf told. Everyone, that's his hopes. Wish them all the best. Get them together. Put it in a takeaway tray. Well, it, I was speaking to um, a couple, I've spoken to a few people this week about moving to Tenerife. It's not, it's not a quick process I'm afraid, it takes ages. Lots of paperwork, it's all in Spanish, then it has to be translated into English, you have to pay solicitors to do lots and lots of paperwork. Uh, if we hadn't left the EU it would have been a doddle, but because we left the EU we've made it so difficult, it's almost, can we be bothered? But if you really want to get out here, you can do it, anyone can do it. It's not impossible. 
You just got to uh, you just got to meet the criteria. If you meet the criteria, then you're in. You'll be in. You'll be accepted. But it gets reviewed, I think, after a year. Speaking to um, the Pearson family, they were saying that they've been out here a year in August and it's getting reviewed whether they can stay here or not. I mean, they should be able to, but if they turned them down and said, no, you've got to go back to the UK after a year, then that's how it is. You just don't know. It's all down to the Spanish government, isn't it? The Spanish authorities. They're the people that um, they're the people that make the decision. And it's not too long now until I can retire and move out. So I will see you at some point. Cole's already got the ball rolling. Okay. Hello, Mark JMJ. How you doing? That's that's great. Cole and his daughter are moving to Tenerife. Uh, hello, Joe. I have been paying tax in Tenerife for the last seven years. I own my property and I have had a Spanish mortgage, so I hope my visa will be simpler. It should be, shouldn't it, Angry Velo? If you've got a property already, you're um, prob probably halfway there, aren't you? Well, I haven't got the ball rolling, I'm just thinking about it. Thinking and thinking about it. I haven't uh, haven't got the ball rolling yet. You know, to move to move out of the UK to living in a foreign country is a massive um, a massive decision to make. You know, you've got your family and your friends and your neighbours and all that lot. It's you know you, if you spent your lifetime in one place it's very difficult to change some people find it difficult to change um, I I don't help by voting the wrong way in the um, the vote a few years ago but that was because I was brainwashed to um, vote to uh, leave the EU if I'd have known it had been all these rules that were going on about now I definitely would have uh, voted to stay in but you know we all make mistakes um, I'm sure you know I don't know how long it can I don't know how many years it can be before we can vote about the EU again I don't know does anyone know how long just how long will it be before the UK has to vote again does anyone know is it like 20 years is it 10 years do you know I don't know JJ voted stay. Spoke to loads of people about what they voted for and some are clueless about it all. About as bright as a black out in Berlin. <laughs> the costs are expensive. Health insurance, even things like factor fees on property, upkeep of pools, lifts and reception charges all gobble up a lot of money. Won't be another vote, Johnny, for a very long time. Right. Oh well. <laughs> They'll probably be dead by the time they vote again then. <laughs> or I'll be, a, I'll be an old age pensioner going... Hey, is it possible? Hey, it's possible.
Right, I've had enough of this dinner now. I'm not going to eat anymore. I can't eat anymore. That's it. Done. So there you go. There's a tiny little bit left in there. They obviously want to go home, these people behind me, so... If I had to give that a rating, that dinner, um, give it about a nine. Thank you. Thank you. Get yourself a Spanish girlfriend, Johnny, and move in with her. Yeah, someone said that to me the other day. If you know, so if you get a partner that's in the EU, like Irish or Spanish or French or whatever, that can make that can make things very, very easy, apparently, to uh, to get to live here, definitely, or anywhere in the EU. So um, that's another that's another thing to consider. But obviously, if you found someone in the UK that you love and like, you're not going to do that, are you? <laughs> you? Yes, you would get residency, Susan says. Susan, is there any chance you can tell me now? I haven't had much luck in Britain, as I am still single. <laughs> yeah, Susan. <laughs> Are you interested in me? <laughs> no, I'm only joking. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> does anyone does anyone know anyone that lives in the EU that we needs a partner? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> right, loads of new food review vlogs coming from the northeast of England soon, Peter Gill says. Emil Karen, when where are you thinking of going next on your travels? I haven't got a clue, Emil, right now. Um, Pete's already planning his next. Pete and Cheryl already planning their next adventure. So you're back from Madeira already, then? Blimey, that was. When did you get back then? Brexit cannot be reversed because any new country joining the EU has to agree to take the euro. Britain will always keep the pound. Well, I must admit, I, I would like the UK to be the Euro. It would be a lot easier, wouldn't it? To be in the EU and take the uh, Euro would be very good. Or all, or all of the EU t to become the pound, one or the other, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think the problem with a lot of the British people is we're too old-fashioned. We won't change. We don't like change. The amount of people I've spoken to over the years about changing, whether it's their their way of life or moving or whatever, some people will will not change. They are they are what they are, and that's it. There's nothing you can do about it. Switzerland are in the EU. They don't have euros. That's right. I remember that. Is it the Swiss franc, isn't it? The Swiss franc. Well, there you go. If we, well, yeah, we used to be in the EU, didn't we? And we had pounds, so yeah, that sort of makes sense. Um, Pete, our daughter, got us a bottomless brunch hard rock cafe, Newcastle. Haven't booked it yet. Try Tinder. <laughs> yeah, try Tinder. What's the other one? <coughs> Is it YouTube YouTube singles, isn't it? Dating site. Uh, plenty of fish. Uh, Badoo. Badoo. Badoo's another one, isn't it? Badoo. Badoo. So, Pete and Shell meet up for bottomless brunch. Uh, I don't know where I'm going on my next venture. I'll probably have a little, gonna have a little break now. Try and sort, try and sort some things out at home and that. Um, 
I don't know. I don't know when my next holiday abroad would be. It could. It could be any time. A bit like Pete and Shard. You never know. You never know when that next holiday could be. It could be next week. It could be in a month's time. It could be in four months' time, five months' time. So six months' time, even. I might. I might. I might not have any more breaks abroad now. I might I might stay at home in the UK and just have some stay staycation holidays. And then when it when it gets to September, go away again then maybe. That that might be the plan, but I don't know. I'm a bit unpredictable. You can't really tell. I might go like I said, I might go away next week or in a month's time. The Max friend I can't remember her name. She got a Spanish boyfriend while on holiday in Tenerife. Was that Ange? Ange? Was it Ange? Something Angel, wasn't it? Uh, she had a channel, didn't she? Where are you now? I'm in Tenerife, uh, Costa Adeki at the Milestone, Seoul. But uh, I'm going to end the live soon and uh, I'm going to have an early night. I'm not staying out late tonight. I'm going to, uh, well, I might go and watch a, a, a singer and uh, there's a karaoke bar along the road. So I might go there. And then that's it. The Blonde Angel, that's it. Got a man, but when got back to the UK, oh, when got back to the UK, split. All oh, right, okay. I didn't know that. Night, take care, Anne Marie and David. Johnny, we're going to say good night to you all and on chat. Okay. Good night, Anne Marie and um, David. Thanks for coming on. It was nice seeing you in Tenerife, and um, hope to meet you again soon. Take care, enjoy the rest of your holiday. Uh, yes, go to the magic bar next to Hard Rock Cat. Ah, oh, that's. I'm not near that, Emil. Joe's got something on Welcher. I wonder what I wonder what a holiday's like on Welcher. I've never booked a holiday on Welcher. I, I was tempted to do that a little while back, but I've I've blocked Welcher because they kept sending all these emails and offers. A bit like Timu. I've had to block Timu now because they send so many offers. It gets really annoying. I must say, Power Power Manova is beautiful. Me and the gals enjoyed it for spring break. Lily Jones says okay that sounds good Palman over I know someone else that's been to Palman over yeah that's um, meant to be a popular place uh, my mate got a new dog that does magic it's it's a lab labracadabra a labracadabra very good did my message work yes I saw your message earlier Lily Jones not sure if Madeira would suit me and Joe, Mark says, Mark JMJ. Night David, night Anne. Take care. See you again soon. I'll do a quiz soon as well. Come on the quiz. I'm due to do a quiz, and I? I haven't done a quiz for ages. I was going to do one out here, but couldn't be bothered in the end. Time's run out. Unless I can squeeze one in tomorrow in the afternoon, I might do one in the afternoon. So keep your notification bell on, I might try and do one. Can't guarantee it though. Greetings from Malaysia, hope you have good time there in Tenerife. Larry KP1, safe journey home, thank you JJ. Johnny, our daughter got a mystery holiday on there and ended up at Albafira, Portugal for 99 quid each, including flights. So that was good then, Joe. I bet if I I bet if I got a mystery prize, it'd probably be in Bognor, Butlins. Or Skegness. <laughs> or it'd probably be in Brighton. 
It'd be, it'd be at some rundown hotel in Brighton somewhere. <laughs> Everyone will be at work in the afternoon. Oh dear. Okay. I guess so. Well, it'll have to be in the evening then. So let's think. I'm going home Thursday. I'll be home Friday. Maybe Friday evening then I can do one. A quiz. Maybe we can do a quiz and a bit of karaoke. Depend, depending where I am, because I've got all my um, stuff at one one of my places. I can't remember where it is. So, oh, it's always abroad. Joe says. Joe JMJ says it's always a mystery holiday abroad. Oh, that's not so bad then. So the worst, the worst you could get then is probably um, be France, wouldn't it? Something like Dieppe. If I've got if I've got a break to Dieppe just across the channel, I'll get the ferry from New Haven to Dieppe. <laughs> well, I suppose if it was the Channel Islands, that would be quite a nice little break, wouldn't it? A mystery prize. They do do mystery flights as well now, don't they? Mystery flights. I think Wizz Air do them. I have, I have thought about doing one of those. Um, I'm not sure, Has that, have any of you ever done that? Got a mystery flight and you don't know where you're going? Hello, can I have the bill please? Get the bill, so it's guess the bill time. I think I've already said how much it is, haven't I, if you've been watching this live. JJ's going now. It was great seeing all the vloggers on the island. Yes, it was, definitely. Good night JJ, take care. My mate gets married next week. He is going to Wales with his new wife. At least I think so. He said he is going to banger. Banger all week. <laughs> very good. Very good, angry Velo. They're very good jokes. Thank you. Oh my God. Come on then, guess the bill. Come on, guess the bill. We did our own mystery travel. That's it. You did, didn't you, Pete and Shell? No, what I meant, like, as a mystery holiday, I meant, like, um, like the Welcher one. Get a Welcher holiday, because that's a mystery, isn't it? You don't know where you're going. Or airlines do mystery flights. They don't tell you where you're going. Apparently. It's on Wizz Air. Wizz Air do it, apparently. That... That's got to be worth trying out, hasn't it? I haven't done that yet. I might, I might give it a go. I might, I might, I might sign back up with Welcher and go on a mystery holiday with Welcher. Then there you go. <laughs> does Timothy like karaoke? Yeah, he does like karaoke. He's come on my um, lives a couple of times, singing songs and watching. Ours was hardcore and not for the faint parted. <laughs> yeah, I, I, it was, wasn't it, hardcore? I don't know if I could have handled that, that, what you did, Pete and Shell. <laughs> that was uh, definitely not for me. <laughs> hmm. I think I would have had to allow more time, I think, to go on a mystery destination. Not just have your bags packed and go. Bugger that. Right, we gotta pay we gotta pay my final meal bill. Right. Can you can you change that? Yeah. Lovely. So come on in, how much do you think the bill is? What do you think I gave him in the change? <laughs> I'll give you a clue, it's the number of viewers on now. There you go. Thinking of doing another crazy mystery travel vlog, Pete and Shell says. We only found out the day we went. Had to book it all on the move. Oh my god. Uh, I must admit, you've done a good job. You've done a good job, um, Pete and Shell, with that crazy mystery holiday. Thank you, sir. So, any guesses then for the bill? Or should I just tell you? 
my vacation in Palmanova, Majorca, the hotel costs 330 euros, all inclusive, for three adults and was seven nights. That's not bad. That's good. That's very good, Lily Jones. 100, 110 euros each. Wow. All inclusive. That's very good. Very, very good. What site was that on then? How did you find that offer? Um, Lily Jones, how did you find that amazing holiday for 100, 330 euros for three people all inclusive? That sounds too good to be true. I used to stay at the Aqua Beach Hotel in Palma Nova. Nice hotel, Angry Vito says. I don't know, I don't know how to JJ or I would. Okay. Cheers, JJ. Joe's got to go to work in the morning, unfortunately. Okay, well, don't work too hard, will you, Joe? Take it easy. Safe travels tomorrow. Take care. Thank you, um, Joe and Mark and everyone that's watched this live. Thank you very much. Right, so no one's guessed the bill, so I'm going to have to reveal the price anyway. Um... Right, the bill was only 9.90. There you go, 9.90. It was for a beer, one euro beer, and a spaghetti carbonara at eight eight twenty five euros plus tax of sixty five cents. So that was 9.90. Absolute bargain, cheap, cheap as chips. So there you go, cheap as chips. So, I'm going to finish, I'm going to end the live now, I'm going to finish my uh, one euro beer and then I'm, uh, I'm moving off. So, uh, I have got some more videos coming, I haven't got many left, I've only, I haven't done much vlogging on this trip, I didn't feel like vlogging much, I mean I've done a fair bit already but I haven't got many to upload, so I don't know, I might do a few more videos tomorrow, out and about, and that's it. So uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, the videos on uh, that I've done so far, and there's a few more to come. And uh, no doubt, no doubt I'll be out here again at some point. But I am going to try and, uh, I am going to try and uh, go to some new places now as well. There's lots of new places I want to go. Put your toilet roll in the freezer tonight, Johnny. <laughs> the hotel is called Glob Global Globals Palmanova Palace. Very welcoming, clean hotel. Where are you heading to after your meal? I'm um, thinking of going to um, the bar. What's it called? Bar El Canario. They've got a sink, couple of singers on, and karaoke. So that will finish my night off for tonight. Right, it's time to go. We've been live an hour, just over an hour. Bernie Ashworth, hello. Night, safe journey, safe flight home. Thank you, Bernie. Uh, a taxi from Majorca to Palmanova was 45 euros. Bye bye, take care. Thank you, Pauline. Night, night, mate. Thank you, Angry Velo. Is your name Graham? Sorry, I couldn't remember your name. I think it's Graham, isn't it? Good night, um, Graham. Safe travels, mate. Thank you, Pete and Shell. I'll message you when I'm back in the UK. Uh, bargain, bargain, get up for Nix's. Pete and Shell done it. They did the uh, mystery holiday, yeah. Expedia, Lily Jones found it on, okay. Maybe I'll look on Expedia then. There you go, look on Expedia. Get a few bargains on there maybe. Right, so that's it, I'm done guys. I've paid the bill, I've eaten my meal, I gave it, did I give it a score? I think I said nine out of 10, didn't I? I've just got to finish my beer and I'm out of here. 
So good night everyone, I'm going to call it a day now. So see you again another time. May, hope, might do another live tomorrow, might not. If not, it'll be in the UK. Alright then, so good night everyone. Bye, bye-bye, bye-bye.